I'm looking forward to the next, what, 50 minutes. And I think that, I don't know if you guys agree, but that was a bit of show business there. The America's Cup has been in court. We suddenly saw the moment when we saw these machines. We saw a slideshow that gave, certainly me, hairs on the back of my neck came up. We saw two mates who were on the other sides of the fence. And sorry, Russell, but I saw some emotion there. This feels like a Hollywood film. It hasn't felt like that since 2007. But then you add two billionaires, one from Europe, one from the USA, Russell's history in the cup. And sure, the last two years have been, well, depending on your point of view, bloody ridiculous, frustrating, a shame. But right now, we could be on the edge of a most extraordinary match. But are we? If the court case today goes against either of you, will you both be racing in February for the America's Cup? Russell. Well, um, I must say, I'd be uh, very surprised in the court case if the, if the appeals panel changed anything, but that um, we'll be definitely ready to race in, in, in uh, Valencia in, uh, in February. If there was a venue change at this stage, we'd have to look at um, when we could uh, get to the new venue. So, so if the, the appeal is successful and it's heading out to rack, it's looking like February may not happen. Well, we, you know, we, it, we'd obviously have to see how quickly we could set up there. Um, I mean, basically, we want to race the cup as, as soon as we can. Our position really hasn't changed since, uh, since the early days. Uh, and Brad, if, if the cup is heading back to Valencia, will you be there? Yes, yeah, we're ready to, uh, we've got both plans, we're ready to go. We're, we feel the same way as um, BMW Oracle, we want to get going. And, and one more question, because today we want to drive this, this topic forward as opposed to talk about the law courts, but something that was touched on in the presentations there was that, I think Brad, you said it, who wins, who's successful in the cup, let's hope the cup goes on, it doesn't go back to court. Is, is that what you're saying, Brad? If, if a linky lose the next cup, it's handshake, better man won. Yes, and that'll be the fact. And is that how you see the next cup, Russell? If, if you're not successful, it's going to be a handshake and it, over to Brad. Well, um, one of the things that's happened recently is that there was an expert panel um, put in place. You know, there's the three wise men, as we refer to them. Linky, Linky um, uh, nominated one member. They had to be past uh, America's Cup uh, jury members. Then he nominated one, we nominated another, and then they together, collectively they nominated the third. And they were able to, to decide three, um, sorry, five major issues in two days. And that, I would suggest that that would have taken the courts months, maybe years, to, to resolve. And that's the sort of process that um, uh, we'd like to see. We, th we think uh, the fact that the jury's now being named is a great thing. We're looking forward to being able to use the jury. And I think a lot of the questions that, that uh, uh, um, may be open or, or would be open could be decided by um, the jury prior to the match and therefore avoiding any of the, uh, any of the problems that you might have um, uh, if you don't do that. Um, you avoid the, 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 the court battles. And, and, and our position is certainly we want uh, whoever wins the race on the water to, to then uh, that one of them that, and they go on. We want to avoid uh, the court battles. So if we can put it, put that uh, uh, well, the jury's in place now. And if we can um, use that jury to answer the uh, the, the open questions that uh, perhaps have, you know still need to be resolved, then there's absolutely no reason why we, you know, either of the teams would uh, need to go back to court. Does that make sense to you, Brad? <coughs> yes, it does. Yes. <coughs> So you've, you've just agreed. <laughs>